Hey, how's it going, folks? Ken Westerfeld back here with another black fishing knot uh, rig tying tutorial for you. All right. So um, I'm going to. This is fairly simple, but a little bit complicated. All right. So uh, again, I've got my 60 pound leader. Okay. And I've got a good. Uh, six to eight foot length of that all right so right now I'm doubling my line as you can see right and I'm gonna tie my sinker loop and it's gonna be a big sinker loop it's gonna be like 12 to 14 inches something like that all right and I'm gonna so what what I did there was watch again I'm pinching the line together twisting it around itself resting it on on top of itself form that loop going through once going through twice okay our standard sinker loop okay double overhand knot square knot whatever you want to call it and I wet it and I pull it closed very tightly I trim the tag end with my scissor and there's my my big loop okay now here's the tricky part i've got my snafu rig tied and you can use uh any kind of rig you can use a snafu you can use a slider hook rig you can use a single hook um you can use uh, two Virginia hooks tied in tandem like the old days, old school tog fishing straight out of the package like we used to do. Um, you can try any number of things. Okay, so here is our sinker loop, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a twist in that, right? Pinch it down upon itself. Now I'm going to take the bottom I'm going to make another twist going back the other way and I'm going to take the top and I'm going to do one more twist on top and I'm going to keep that all pinched together just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my finished rig and I'm going to take my connection loop, my, my dropper loop there and my snafu. I'm going to slide that over the whole shebang as I'm holding it together pinched. Okay. Now, the hard part. I'm going to slide my hooks through the middle of these uh, doubled line here, and I'm going to pull the whole thing through right up to the dropper loop knot. And this is where it really gets hard. This is, this is the tricky part. We're going to now cinch this whole thing closed tightly whoop it slid it does that sometimes and that's okay it's all the way up at the top of the loop right now and that's all right don't worry about that because it's probably going to slide down again and even if it doesn't that's all right too so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to figure out right about where i would like my my sinker loop where i want my sinker to lay on the rig and I'm going to make a, another double overhand knot, right? And that will be my breakaway knot. Okay, so there's my sinker loop. And here's my rig attached on the double line above. And I can probably slide this down right now. Let me just make sure my leaders are straight. I don't want anything to get tangled. Okay. So. It's, uh, it's in there pretty good. Um, so this one is going to sit higher up off the bottom. And that's okay. Um, this will fish fine. Uh, the leaders are tied a little longer. On this one, you can, you can fish your, your hook leaders longer. You can fish them shorter. You can fish your sinker closer to the bottom. You could fish the rig closer to the breakaway knot. You can change this configuration in any number of ways to accommodate 
the physical conditions that you're fishing in. A lot of times, um, let's say you're on a very sticky wreck, a very sticky piece of bottom. You might want to fish it higher up off the bottom, which will hopefully help you avoid snags. Um, then again, there are times where you might want your leader to flutter in the current more. Maybe you've got more current on a particular day. Maybe the tide is running hard where you're fishing. And sometimes it's advantageous to have that long leader standing away from your rig. It might get you more bites, might flutter in the current a little bit more attractively to the fish. So there's any number of configurations that can work in any particular set of conditions. And uh, I would fish this rig right here. Um, I'd be very comfortable fishing it in almost any situation. I anticipate that this rig would work fine. And like I said, even if on a hook set, um, my rig here becomes a little dislodged and it slides down my leader, that's fine because I've got my breakaway knot that's going to stop it right here and it's not a problem okay so uh this is something that i use on almost every certainly deep water fishing trip um medium depths and so on usually when i'm fishing shallow i am fishing a jig all right and we will talk more about that later so thanks for watching that's how I attach my blackfish rig to my sinker loop. Have a great day.